Oscar Bevis for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm here in Miami with a very special guest, the lovely Pamela Mother, to Jake and Logan Paul. How are we? I'm good. How are you? I'm very well. This is an unexpected interview, I must say. Just right, see you chilling in the lobby. Right. Met, met two minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. I just want to get your take first things first on the fight week building up to these sort of events. You had it with Logan, you've got it with Jake now. Um, it's just a bit crazy, isn't it? It is. Why do they do this to me? I don't know. It's, it's uh, a little nerve-wracking, I have to say. I, I'm not a controversy person, and so when there is, whether it's real or fake, and a lot of it is real, especially with KSI and Logan, that it's uh, my emotions go up, down, up, down, and I have to breathe <laughs> yeah I have to breathe a lot of course this isn't sort of the madness that we saw last time in LA I mean that was on a different scale right. um, how do you reflect on that time of course not the result that Logan wanted and you guys wanted because KSI was the victor in the end but how do you reflect on that sort of time for you and your family you mean after the fight looking back um, I guess I always look at what could have been done better and different and how to improve it um, I thought Logan did really well in the in the fight but I think um, you know he got that bad call but he needed to then learn from that take it away and, and finish and he he didn't so I feel like he kind of beat himself so then I look at what as a mom I could have done to like I don't know said something did I miss something I know he was a, sick and I'm a nurse so I'm like oh, what should I have done like maybe to make him a little better that week that I didn't do and you know so I, I always look back and reflect on what I guess could have been as well as looking at how well he actually really did and even though he didn't get the win it was still a win. Of course he was in the shape of a finely tuned athlete but he spent his life sort of in the limelight doing YouTube so what was it like for him in terms of taking the loss is there any been What's the reflection been like? Has there been a lot of regret, perhaps? I don't know if there's a lot of regret. Because I feel like Logan, um, when I asked that question kind of a couple weeks after, I didn't really bother him for a couple weeks. Um, I had to get through my own, like, upsetness over the whole thing. But when I did ask him, he didn't seem that, um, I don't know, regretful. Because I think he really believed that, he was the better boxer, even though he didn't get the win. So I think, I bet his only regret is not throwing his right a little bit more and taking KSI in that fourth fourth round. So that's when he should have made that happen. Now then, Jake's doing the same thing. You're going through it all over again. Yeah. I can tell by that expression that it's stressful. I can't imagine what your heart rate is going to be like on fight night or what it was like beforehand. Right. Um, do you feel like part of this is Jake building up to get revenge against KSI. Let me beat his friend and then I can show down with KSI. Do you feel like he's, you know, is this something that he wants to take seriously, go into combat sports afterwards against professionals or is this just sort of to avenge his, his brother's defeat? No, I think Jake will take it very seriously moving forward. And um, Logan too, but I know Jake will. Um, and I, yeah, he wants to get to KSI for sure, but it's not all about that. Um, you know, that's not an end goal. So there will be more. I, I would believe. We saw a head-to-head -head yesterday. Um, it was like he was a cold-hearted killer of Jake <laughs> against a, a comedic figure in Gibb. Um, yeah. What do you make of Gibb, having seen him and sort of been around him a little bit? No, I, yeah, yesterday, probably the very first time, although I, I saw him uh, come on stage during the press conference between Logan and KSI, I believe it was. Um, I really didn't take him seriously. Um, I know he's kind of a wild, high energy type person. He seems like a nice guy. I don't know that he's as self-confident as Jake is, but you know, maybe he's hiding it. Maybe he's putting on a persona, so we don't know what he's going to do. I don't know. I, I, I take every fight very seriously. I don't think you should ever underestimate your opponent because anything can happen. You mentioned the press conference, and I want to talk to you about how you've, you've been received yourself and the family. Um, in the UK, of course, support for KSI is going to be massive. We yep. understand that support for Gibb is going to be bigger than it will be for the Paul brothers. The UK against the US sort of thing. Um, did you come over to London for the press conference then? No, and I'm oh, you very didn't. thankful that I did not. So how, that sort of, is not my scene over there. That would have been horrible. So yeah, glad I didn't come. <laughs> what did they say? What did the boys say about how they were received? Because it was quite a hostile atmosphere. I was right. at the press conference. It was, it was quite hostile. They were very shocked at how hostile it was, and it was just, 
not classy, and uh, I think they expected better. They didn't think they were going to get a warm reception or anything, but just not attacked. You know, there was physical attack, attack on our family. I just thought it got really trashy. So, um, yeah, glad I didn't go. <laughs> Over in the UK, Eddie Hearn, who's promoted both of these fights, is a very well-known figure. He's always on the TV talking about boxing. He's taken up this new sort of boxing. There's been uh, criticism. There's also been people who are completely for it. Have you met Eddie before? What do you think of Eddie? I, I liked Eddie a lot. He's a very classy dude. I'm very grateful for that he gave these guys a chance in the world because I know he's taking some sla uh, heat for it. But I don't know. I think he's proving, proving that he was right to do it. And it's boxing is getting a lot more views than it was. So I don't know how you can argue that. Yeah. And if I ask you about the character of Eddie Hearn, I have to mention probably the biggest character in boxing over the last 20 years, Mr. Shannon Briggs. Oh, yeah. Coming for a bit of stick from Jake as Let's well, yeah. <laughs> what was that? Let's go champ. I'm sure he'll enjoy that. Um, come on to some criticism from Jake. Um, how do you think he sort of dealt with the fight night and how was he around uh, Logan and your family? After, during, or in, in training? Sort of the whole, the whole, yeah, the whole thing. Um, he has, a, he has a very high energy level, different mentality, seems like a beast, um, you know, during training and even before, you know, telling me that I can sit on the sidelines and paint my nails while Logan's fighting KSI. I didn't like that. I That was like a little red flag to me. I was never going to sit on the sidelines, you know, painting my nails um, in anything they do. So that was a little bit odd to me and then, you know, the outcome proved that, that that was like weird. And I didn't, I, I had to agree with Jake that I didn't like, you know, the comment that Shannon said in this ring, which I didn't hear, Jake, Jake heard, about, you know, I don't care if you lose, it's your first professional match. Yeah, that's not what you tell your boxer. You tell him to go out there and tell him exactly what to do so he can win this fight and not lose. And so that's, you know, my only thing. I, Shannon worked really hard and he's a great guy you know just I don't think he and Jake got along very well so Jake's gonna be a little harder on him probably but it is what it is with KSI and with Gibb they've been trained by Vidal who's a close friend of theirs <clears throat> do you think that perhaps could be could have been the edge in the first fight the fact that uh, Logan and now Jake have taken on people who are very well accomplished in the boxing game, but perhaps don't have that close, friendly relationship that you might see with Vidal and uh, Gibb and KSI, who've been friends for a longer period of time? Yeah, I, I don't know if that plays into it or not. I, I would almost think that's maybe not a great thing. I don't think that gave them an edge. I just think it went the way it went. I don't see them as better boxers than my kids. I don't, I don't really see that as an edge. Vidal can't get in the ring and fight for KSI, just like Shannon or Shane can't get in the ring and fight for Logan and Jake. I mean, when they get in that ring, it's it's up to them. So, I don't know. I don't I don't know about. I don't think there was an edge at all. Okay, just finally before I let you go, I'm going to have to ask you your prediction. I know what you're going to say. I know you're not going to say that Gibbs going to go in and flatten your son. But what do you think is it going to be a knockout or are we going to see it go the distance? I no, oh, I don't like predictions. <laughs> I don't think it's going to go the distance. Um, I hope there's a knockout. And I hope it's Jake knocking out Gibb. Pam, thank you very much for giving me some of your time and speaking to IFL TV. It's been a pleasure. And um, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Gold Star Promotions is proud to present Floyd Money Mayweather. The man himself is coming to the UK for his UK tour, February and March 2020. For all info and tickets, Gold Star Promotions, the host of the UK.